Hey you guys, welcome back. I'm finally listening to what everyone's been asking for and today's tutorial is for short hair. Specifically, we're gonna do Arya's new hairstyle in Game of Thrones season five. This is the first female style in the entire series that's specifically for short hair. Also, it tends to work better on thinner hair. So for those of you who struggle to do my other Game of Thrones tutorials because your hair is too short or too thin, then this is the style for you. Unfortunately, it is tricky to do, especially on yourself, so you'll need to practice most likely. I'll show you on my friend Claire here what it's like to do this braid on short hair, but I'll also show you a shot of me doing it on myself so you can see how to approach it if you're going to do the DIY route. Anyways, to start it off, part all your hair down the center. Next, since Arya's look is very smooth down and this braid pulls your hair in directions it's not used to going, I find it easier to control everything if I wet the hair first, comb the hair I'm braiding for each stitch, and also hairspray or gel the hair as I'm adding it in so that there's more grip and the short strands don't fall out. When your hair is parted and you're ready to start braiding, tie off the left half of hair for now and then grab a chunk of hair from the right half that starts at your neck right next to the bottom of your part. Split this chunk into two halves. The braid we'll be doing is a French rope technique, so to start it, twist the individual strands in a clockwise direction a couple times. Then twist the strands together 180 degrees counterclockwise. This results in the outer strand passing over the inner one and with the two strands changing places. Now grab some hair from along your part and add it to the new inner strand. Also grab some hair from along your lower hairline and add it to the new outer strand. Then twist each strand counterclockwise a few times and twist together in the opposite direction 180 degrees again. Add more hair to each strand, twist individually, twist together, and continue until all your hair on the right side of your head is braided in. As you go, the braid will start to form up along the side of your head towards your forehead. Try to keep the braid centered between your hairline and your part the whole time so that it's never closer to one than the other. Also, as you get close to the front of your head, aim the braid at the right corner of your forehead so that it ends there. When you have no more hair to add in, tightly rope braid the rest of the hair to the ends. Then add a small hair elastic to the ends to secure the braid. Now to do the same process on yourself, it is easier to form the braid if you flip your head over like this to do it. However, this also makes it harder to watch yourself in a mirror, so you'll probably have to do it by touch for at least the beginning of the process. Just remember that the outer strand always passes over the inner, so make sure to twist the individual strands in the opposite direction. Also twist the strands as tight as you can to keep things together. There aren't really any more tricks that would make this easier, so just go slow, have patience with yourself, and keep practicing. When your braid is finished and secured, wrap it around itself at the edge of your forehead to form a little bun. Using the smallest bobby pins you have, secure this bun by hooking some hair from underneath or the lower outside of the braid, hooking some hair from your head, and push the bobby pin in underneath the bun. Add bobby pins like this every quarter of a circle or so, and try to make some pins cross each other under the bun. This holds them in place more securely. When you've wrapped up the entire braid, tuck the braid ends underneath the bun and pin them there. The other side of your head is an exact mirror image of the first braid. Thus you should pick up a bit of hair next to the bottom of your part again, split it into two pieces, and start French rope braiding. However, pay attention to which direction you twist the strands because since you're now on the left side of your head, this time you should twist them in the other direction than what you did in the first braid. The outer strand should still pass over the top of the inner one, so that means you should twist the individual strands counterclockwise and twist them together clockwise. Aim the braid towards the left corner of your forehead again, braid to the ends when you finish adding in hair, and then wrap and pin the braid around itself to form the bun. You can probably notice some little hair sticking out in the braid right now, which could be fixed with hair gel. If I were to do Claire's hair again this way, I'd use more gel on the twisted sections after each stitch to hold down the flyaways since her hair is fine and prone to it. 
but every head and hair type is a bit different, so if you need to wear this for something important and want it to be perfectly smooth, practice a few times first to figure out how much and what kind of styling products you need to succeed. When you've got the second bun wrapped and pinned, you now have a finished Arya in Bravo's hairstyle. I hope you enjoyed this video! To see more Game of Thrones hair tutorials like this, click the clips. You can also check out my tutorials for other fantasy and sci-fi franchises by visiting and subscribing to my YouTube channel. Or follow me on social media to get the latest updates and chat with me about what else you would like to see.